Hey everybody, this is Jonathan with Food Forest Farm. I'm in the figury here in Brookendale, New York, um, around June 25th, and wanted to show you the figury greenhouse um, summer conditions. Things are starting to really take off. You can see the remainder of the, uh, the bales here that I use as my walls for my insulation. You can uh, review some of my other videos to find out how I did this figury um, winter protection system. Um, I'm using the Japanese step over method where I grow the figs um, at, a, at a low angle. Um, I'll show you here on some of these. Uh, you can see the cane right there, the white cane. I painted it white uh, for various reasons, um, rodent protection and um, other reasons. So I'm, I'm essentially tr trellising it along the ground, about a foot off the ground, so that the insulation can cover. There's the insulation being stored in the north side. The insulation can cover the top and keep everything uh, just around freezing so that, that the main trunks don't uh, uh, freeze to the ground. And you can see the, the amazing results. I'm uh, pinching or, or pruning the canes. This year there'll be three per trunk. Uh, I've got eight of those. Um, here's another fig. And as we come down here, there's my perennial kale that also overwintered under the um, the figury. The the roots actually survived. Uh, this is a perennial type that I've been doing some breeding work on. We grew it in Holyoke for about uh, six years, and I brought it here, and it's doing well in the greenhouse in the winter uh, under the insulation. You can see the robust um, production already. It's only middle of June, middle late June, and I've got tons of production on this one um, kale, perennial kale. This is um, a tree collared crossed with uh, a, uh, a bush type kale and they're growing in between the figs. You can see I'm actually starting, I just started some new ones here. There's a new um, kale here and a new kale here. I'm going to fill in the spaces between the figs with kale. Here's another one of my figs. Uh, again, three canes growing from the main trunk. Um, and what I do is I grow the, the canes up. They'll go all the way to the roof this summer uh, and figs along the, along the cane. Um, and then I'll, literally I'll cut the, the canes back to the trunk for the winter time. And then the next year they'll grow again new canes. Um, as we walk down here, we'll get to one of my uh most robust figs here um this is saint rita there's probably another number of reasons why this one's doing so well one is i realized the other day that this section of the greenhouse is in a little bit of shade there's some trees on the west side here that are shading in the in the late afternoon so not as much vigorousness down there but over here in the full sun this saint rita is covered in figs i did some pinching about two weeks ago pitching the tips so you can see here where um, I pinched there's a new tip growing back and then a fig and what this does is by pinching uh, this early in the season you're you're essentially getting the fig to um, say it needs the fruit and so I've done that at each uh, main uh, cane here and you can see at every node there's a fig one two three for, uh, and they're just all up and down each of these canes. And this is uh, only a, a two year old tree. Um, it wasn't a pot for a year and then it was in the ground last year. And so this is the third year. You can see there, there's the trunk that I've essentially trained along the string there uh, last year. And so you can trunk not that big but um, that whole trunk survived the winter underneath the bale see the top of the bale there so the bale was covered right here with insulation and these are new this is new growth coming up with the new figs on it so this is uh, you know late June 
you know, by September, October, there's going to be a cane going all the way up, probably to that part of the greenhouse right there. This whole section is going to be full of fig. And we'll see how many, how many fruit I can get this year. Um, but definitely next year, we're going to have some serious production if this continues. Thanks for watching. This is Jonathan, Food Forest Farm in the Figury in Brooklyndale, New York. Thanks. Bye.